There are places where the boundaries between worlds sometimes touch and flicker, where walls can become doors and who we are can become something different. I wandered to such a place once. I had been lost for many days when I found myself in a strange land. In the distance, I could see a leafless tree bearing a glowing golden fruit, which looked like tiny suns against the darkening sky. Underneath it, people are gathering. I am greeted warmly and invited to play a game. They begin picking the sacred gifts of the tree and thanking it aloud, taking a single bite and passing what is left to a neighbor. One is handed to me. It tastes like sweet, raw flesh. An elder welcomes me and explains the nature of the game. The fruit is changing us. Soon, we will become the coyote or the rabbit or both. The color of our eyes betraying our fate. For coyotes, it will be red. For the rabbits, yellow. He leads us on a chant to prepare our spirits. What color is the chameleon? What color is the chameleon? There are no brave rabbits. There are no brave rabbits. The coyote must hunt. The coyote must hunt. All around me, I can see destinies revealing themselves. The darting eyes and twitching muscles of the rabbits, the flaring nostrils and heaving chests of the coyotes. I hear myself snarling as if outside of my body. My vision becomes red. I know what is to come and accept it. The coyote must hunt. As the rabbits transform, they bolt off one by one. The coyotes hold back, waiting to form a pack or to catch a late changing rabbit. An elder woman becomes the final coyote. She will be the alpha tonight and lead us on the hunt. We are on the move now, following the scent of the rabbits, heavy with their panic and fear. I am moving at speeds and with a power I have never experienced, navigating effortlessly through the trees with only the faint moonlight. A rabbit is injured. The others scatter as we approach. I am nearest to the fallen rabbit. My instinct is to pounce, but for a moment, I hesitate. Everything goes black. A shudder passes through me and then I realize what has happened. And so does the pack. They surround me. I am afraid, but with this terror comes the strength of the rabbit. A brief turn of my head and my escape routes are apparent. My center of gravity drops. My legs stretch out in front of me, further than seem possible. And as the coyotes descend, I evade them with ease. I run relentlessly throughout the night, alone. Somehow, though, it is as natural as hunting with the pack. In either role, my purpose is clear. Shortly before dawn, I collapsed, legs trembling with exhaustion. I slept until it was night again. When I woke, I searched for the tree and for the players, though I would never again find them or that strange land. I returned home to my world although it never again was truly my own. <laughs>